Hey guys, welcome to your afternoon stretch. Uh, we're going live here from Get Active. My name is Sakina, a fellow uppercut boxing instructor, and today we're going to be training like a boxer. All right, so welcome to your first segment. I'm going to lead you through a couple of stuff. First off, we're going to learn some intro to boxing, and then you're going to go straight into your warm up to get the heart rate lifted, and then we're going to head into some simple combinations to get you primed and ready for segment two and three, of which Safil will be leading you through the workout. Okay, so first off, everything that you need to know in boxing goes back to your fight stance. All right, so what is your fight stance? Basically, it's how you stand when you're ready to throw some punches in front of your opponent. Okay, so if you're on your couch, please stand up and join me right now. Okay, so standing shoulder width apart, you're going to bring one foot to the back, right if you're a righty, left if you're a lefty. Okay, so I'm a righty, I'm going to bring my right foot all the way to the back. Whole body turn 45 degrees to the right. Taking a soft bend in the knee, a slight hinge in the hip. Hands are up, a soft clench, and this is your fight stance. Okay, so at any point in time when I say hands up, chin down low, this is what you get into, ready to throw the next punch. Okay, so fight stance, that is number one. Number two, really simple. I want you to stay light on the balls of your feet, release the heel off the ground, and you're just going to do a bounce. Okay, so any point in time when you don't feel like throwing punches, but you still want to keep active and get the rhythm going through, Get into your boxer shuffle. This is your boxer's bounce or your boxer shuffle, all right? Whatever you want to call it for today. Okay, so number three, I'm going to show you what is called a jab. All right, so punch number one for today is a jab. It is a straight punch thrown with your front hand. Okay, so I don't say left or right in class because left and right means totally two different things for my righties and for my lefties. Okay, so if I've got my left foot forward, today this is my front foot and this is my front hand. All right, so jab straight out. Two things you want to focus on. Number one, all right, you want the palm to always face down and you want the first two knuckles to be the target point and you bring it back to your face as fast as you can. Okay, let's try that three times. Ready, hands up, and jab, bring it back. All right, second time, jab, and bring it back. Last one, make it count, jab, and bring it back. Okay, so that was one way to throw the jab. Today, I'm going to tell you two types of ways you can throw. Okay, so number one, you can always use your front foot to step in on the jab, and that's going to give you a little bit more power as you retract it back to your face. Okay, one more time. Extend and back. Last one, extend and back. Okay, so you got two options now, a stationary jab and also a moving jab. All right, number three, all right, this is what I'm going to call a stiff jab. All right, so a stiff jab basically means you're trying to extend your hand and leave it out there for a bit of a longer time to really break through the target and you bring it back to your face. All right, so on this one, I want you to imagine that your opponent has his guard up. What you want to do is as you extend the hand, rotate. All right, see, as you can tell, I rotate so that I really break through the guard and I bring it back to my face. All right, one more time. Extend out, break through the guard, and bring it back. Okay, so you learn three types of jabs today. All right, punch number two is your straight punch, a.k.a. your cross. Now, with the back hand, you're going to look at my side view. All right, this is how I throw a cross. Extend all the way out, that is number one. But number two, you've got to look at my hip and my feet. Okay, as you can tell, my toes, knees, and hips all point towards the same direction, and I bring it back to my face. Okay, one more time. Cross and back. Last one, cross and back. All right, so I'm going to tell you why boxers do this, all right? Why there has to be the hip turn. All right, so for example, if my target is here and I jab just like that, yep, I can reach my target, okay? But if I don't twist and I just cross and I throw the other hand, all right, you see I fall short. Fist length. All right, can you tell? Okay, so because you want to bridge this gap, you twist your body and your hip in. And that's going to help you reach a little further for today. Okay, so two punches. Start from the top. Jab, thrown with your front hand. Cross, thrown with your 
backhand, okay? So punch number three for today is your front hook, all right? So I like to teach two types of hook. One, as you extend out, all right, you got to turn your whole body as one unit and you bring it back to your face. This time around, as you can tell, my palm faces me so that I use the first two knuckles again to really hit my opponent and I bring it back. At any point in time, if you throw the hook, all right, what you want to focus on is aiming one particular spot, which is the imaginary face of your opponent right in front, and you bring it back. Okay, one more time, extend out and back. Last one, extend out and back, okay? So another type of hook that you can try as well, all right, is this hook where you can tell my palm faces down and you get the first two knuckles again to hit. Okay, so variation number one, palm faces me. Variation two, palm face down. All right, so a lot of boxers use the palm face down to get more length, okay? Because when palm faces in, you're using a lot of your bicep. When your palm face down, you can reach a little further and that's going to help you gain some distance between you and your opponent. Okay, so you can try it at your own pace. Palm face in, palm face out. Both qualify as great and awesome hooks. Okay, a couple more times over here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, same thing now with the backhand. We're going to throw the two types of hooks today. Number one, palm face in, extend out as I turn my hip in. All right, and I bring it back to my face. Again, let's go three more times. Three, two, and one. Okay, the key is to really engage your legs and your hip because 80% of boxing comes from lower body power rather than just your arms. Okay, so your arms are just going to assist you to hit your target, but the real power and the real intensity comes from the lower body. Okay, so you got your last two punches for today. Those are your uppercuts. Let me show you how the front uppercut looks like. All right, so hands up, chin down low. All you want to focus on is a slight dip. All right, as you can tell, when I dip, I do not do this. My hands are still by the side of my face, and I drive it up, bang. All right, I reset back. All right, one more time. Dip and drive. Hands up, last one, dip and drive. Okay, so the uppercut is basically a vertical strike going straight down the middle, aiming my opponent's chin. All right, so if my opponent is here, all I want to do is dip down and drive it up. One more time, dip down, drive it up. All right, so same thing now with the backhand. All I'm doing, hands up, chin down low, dip down, drive it up. Last one, dip down, drive it up. A lot of power comes from the legs, so at any point in time, focus on releasing the heel off the ground as I turn on the balls of my foot. Okay? All right. So those are your six punches. Hands up, chin down low. We're going to run through real simple. Jab, throw in with your front hand, cross, hook, hook, upper, and upper. Okay, so we're going to go straight into your warm-up for today. Really, sim really simple. You have five exercises. Each exercise, 10 to 12 reps. You'll follow my count. And then we got two rounds. Okay, so movement number one, taking your feet wide, nice and wide, toes and knees pointing in one direction, and staying through the upper body. Okay, we're going to sink the hips down into a squat and reset back. Okay, so you have 10 reps of this. Ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So squat and up. All you got to do is send your booty to the back and squeeze your glutes at the top because you're just warming up the lower body. All right, a couple more reps over here. Six more. Last five. Weight in the heels. Four. Last three. Last two. And one. Okay, awesome. Next up, we're just going to warm up the entire body. So find some space. All right, this is called inchworm. So what you want to do is crawl using your hands all the way down. Try not to do a bend in the knee because you really want to feel the stretch down the hamstring. All right, so you crawl all the way down into a nice high plank, shoulders above your wrist, crawl it back up. And that is one rep. You can do a little shake right at the top and go again. So crawl it down again, hands underneath shoulders, crawl it back up, <sighs> exhale. All right, one more time, let's go. All right, so we are at three. If you want to go a little faster, go right ahead, be my guest. At four. Last five.
All right, so as you can tell, my abs are always super hard. Squeeze through the lower abs and the upper abs as you go down and hold a high plank. All right, try not to bring your hips all the way up like a mountain. All right, you want to feel nice and flat like a road. Give me three more. Last two. All right, feel free to also add in a push-up if you want to at the bottom. Just warming up through the upper body. Last one. And stay down. OK, so stay in the high plank. Next up, we're going to do some knee taps to your elbow. So just tap and reset, tap and reset. All right, so left and right is one. You're going to do 10. Ready? And let's go. So all you're doing is really warming up through the shoulders, warming up through the upper body, the core, and your legs, because you're opening up your hips. All right, happy hips, everybody. A lot of tension gets caught up in the hips. So really opening up using this mobility work. Last four, three, two, and one. OK, good. Next up, we're going to open up the hips just a little bit more. So hands underneath shoulders again. Take your right leg outside your right foot. Oh, sorry, your right leg outside your right hand. Right hand extended all the way up to the top. Open up the chest, slow the heart rate down just a little, and sink your hips down to again open up the hips. And that's going to help you prevent injuries. All right, swap change, other side. Again, drive your hips down low and open up. Use this time to really open up the chest and also to stretch out the shoulders if you can. All right, swap change, other side. Bring your heels right outside your hand. Change other side one more time. Last one. On the left. And time. OK, stand back up. We're going to spike the heart rate just a little. So imagine you've got a pair of skipping ropes. I want you to start air skipping. OK, so stand by in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so all you're doing is staying light on the balls of your feet. Now, if you've been watching Get Active for the past few days, you should see Isaac. He does a lot of tricks with the rope. So you can if you want to. All right, if you've got your rope with you, please go ahead. I'm just going at an easy pace. Nothing too tough for today. I'm sure Safil will definitely lead you through the final segment where your, where your heart rate is going to be spiked up. All right, a couple more seconds over here, guys. Take about 20 seconds. Left and right, left and right. Last 10 before we switch to your right foot. All right, stand by in three, two, one. Let's go. Right foot only. So again, this time around, you're really uh, warming up through the calf muscles of your leg. Gentle hops and switch. Left side. All right, take a micro bend through the knee. Because if you straighten out your knee, you're going to injure it. All right, so soft bend, swap change, other side. Other side. Last set, let's go. One more time. And time. OK, awesome job, guys. OK, so that was your warm up. I hope you're feeling nice and primed. We're going to go straight into some simple boxing combinations that you will need to know later on in segment two. OK, so punch number one, everybody hands up, fight stance. OK, simple punch for today. I have two, jab and a cross. OK, the first two very basic long distance punches. So whenever you're ready, hands up in three, two, one, let's go. Jab, cross. One, two. OK, so as you can tell, you can either just extend your hand or turn through the front foot as you release the heel off the ground again and rotate on the balls of your feet. All right, bring it back again one more time. All right, so good habits means you're always bringing your hand back to your face before you extend the next punch out. All right, so right about here, you're just really warming up through the upper body again. Nothing too intense. Just really getting the form and the technique right. OK, a couple more seconds over here. Last 10. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. OK, next up, you got your two hooks, AKA your front hook and your back hook. OK, so stand by, hands up in three, two, one. Let's go. So hook and hook. 
All you're doing is again rotate through the upper body, turn your whole body as one, reset back first, hook again, reset back, okay? So again, palm face you, palm face down, doesn't matter. As long as you extend your hands out and aim the same target. All right, take a couple of seconds for yourself, guys. Yeah, that's the one. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, your last two punches, those are your uppercuts. A quick recap again, drop and drive. That is all you gotta think about. Okay, so small dip and drop, drive it up, reset again, drop and drive. Okay, so about 20 seconds, hands up, let's go. Drop, drive, reset, drop, drive. All right, so remember that boxer shuffle. If you wanna stay on it, go right ahead, and whenever you're ready, just join me in the punches. Okay, let's go. Drop, drive, hands up, bang it out. All right, so all you're doing, again, as you drop, try not to hit yourself. Okay, you always wanna reach for the target that's in front of you, so imagine that face, bang, reaching through the target. Okay, vertical strike down and up. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, guys, last few stuff to take note on today. All right, so for today's segment, the focus will be on weaves. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to do a very simple back weave and front weave, of which my friend Safil will definitely take you through some boxing combinations using the weave. Okay, so hands up, chin down low. This is how I do my back weave. All right, I'm going to break it down for you really simple. All you got to do is take a mini squat. All right, turn to the back, stand up and reset back the middle. Okay, so that was your back weave because you're moving towards your back foot. Okay, one more time. Squat, turn, up, reset. Two things to take note. Number one, I never drop my hands. Number two, it's all in the legs. Okay, so whatever I do, I'm never bending my back. I'm always squatting, turn, up, reset, maintaining a long spine, okay? All right, we're gonna reverse this time round front weave. So squat, turn, up, and always reset back into your fight stance. Okay, one more time, squat, turn, up, reset. Last one, squat, turn, up, reset. It's always to remember how to do this properly. Okay, so again, back weave, one recap. Back weave, reset back, front weave, squat, turn, up, and reset. Okay, all right guys, I hope you had a good one. Go and towel down, drink up if you have to, and that's all I have for you, all right? So we will take you guys um, over through segment two. See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Safil and I'll be taking you the second segment of today's workout, Training Like a Boxer. Boxers work for three minutes and they rest for one minute and we're going to do exactly just that. Today we're going to focus on the weaves and my friend Sakina just took you over the basis of the weaves. Let's put that in into some combinations. Here's how we're going to start. We're only going to use the front hand for this portion of the combination. You want to get into your nice fight stance and from here, you're only going to use your jab hand to throw a jab. From here, a front weave and come up with an uppercut. I repeat, jab, front weave, uppercut. Nice and easy, let's work for three minutes now. This combination in three, two, one, and go. Jab, weave, uppercut. Move around, again, jab, weave, uppercut. Nice and easy, decent pace. 
nothing we can't handle. Now, what you want to make sure when you do your weave is that when you go down, like Sakina mentioned, you squat, you turn that hip in, and from here, the lowest point, you rise up with that uppercut. So, the punch doesn't start like this. When I come up, and then I throw the uppercut. It doesn't work like that. You start the uppercut when you are at the lowest point of your weave. Jab, weave, start it here, rise up with that uppercut. So nice and easy, get into that punches, bum, weave, uppercut. Rise up with that punch, dig through, and aim. In three, two, one, and time. All right, halfway through the round, what I want you to do right now is look around your home for two water bottles, or if you have any light dumbbells, you can use them as well. These water bottles are going to be your makeshift weights. You're going to use them for the next one and a half minutes for the same combination. So pick that water bottle up and we do the same combination now. Jab, weave, uppercut. Nice and easy moving. Jab, duck under, rise up. One, weave, uppercut. Now, it's very important that you utilize your legs. If I don't utilize my legs, I'm throwing that jab, I'm completing my weave, and then I'm throwing uppercut. But I'm not making use of my leg muscle. When I use my leg muscle, I'm starting the uppercut from here. Rise up. Rise up with that uppercut. You utilize a very big muscle in your body to throw that punch. So keep that in mind. Rise up, uppercut. I know what you must be thinking. Your front hand must be quite tired by now. Don't worry. The second portion, we're going to use our, left, our right hand as well. So keep it going. 10 seconds, try to push in some power, all the way up. Bum, bum. In three, two, one, and time, guys. All right, one minute of break. The first 30 seconds will be an active rest. We'll still be moving. Nice and easy, continuous straight punches, and go. My hands are moving, but so is my lower body as well. If you notice, my hips are engaged. I'm pedaling my feet. That's how you get a good pace in. I always like to emphasize it's all about the hip work. If you stay stationary on your lower body, all you're doing is this. There's no oomph to the punches, right? Get a nice pace in, just like so. Three, two, one, and break, guys. Take a nice little relax. 30 seconds, you're gonna go into your second combination. This time, let's use that right hand as well, not just your left hand, okay? So combination in fight stance, hands up. We're gonna go jab, cross. This time, we're gonna weave towards the back. The opposite side from the first round. Weaving to the back, cross, front hook. Four punches, now we can still do it. Let's go. Jab, cross, weave to the back, cross, front hook. Now you're gonna go for four punches in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, weave, two, Three, jab, cross, weave, cross, hook. Notice, when I throw that punches, I'm not giving away my form. When I throw that hook, I'm still protecting my chin with that hook. I'm still protecting my chin with that hook. What I mean by a lazy hook is if you throw like this. All good so far, and then you throw like this. It's lazy. You want to protect your chin as you throw. So go like this, jab, cross, weave, cross, hook. As I throw every punch, one of the other hands, still protecting the chin. So keep going. Bum, bum. Now this combination is really good. You're weaving towards the back, you're landing your opponent with a cross, coming back in with a hook. After you throw every combination, you move around, and you repeat. Bum. Nice and easy, use that space. One, two, cross, hook. Hands are always near my chin. Cross hook. Keep it there. Another 10 seconds. Not until the end of the round, until we take it up a notch with that water bottles. In three, two, one. All right. Time to add some resistance. A bit of heavier weights. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Jab, cross, weave, cross, hook. Turn in with your hip, pivot, and launch that cross. Cross, hook, move around. Notice when I move around, I'm always using one foot at a time. I'm not crossing my legs, neither am I hopping. Keep that in mind. Good form is the essence of boxing.
Notice that when I throw the weave, just like Sakina mentioned earlier on, it's all about the legs. What does that mean? You don't want to use your back. If you are tired, we tend to do this when we weave. This uses lesser effort, we're using our back, but what you're going to do is you might injure your back, and number two, you don't get to see your opponent as much as if you use your legs. You're much faster if you use your legs, and over here, your vision is limited. Keep good form, in with the legs, out with the legs as you weave. 30 seconds on the clock, time to speed it up. Those who are left-handed, combination is still the same, right. Left, left, right. Still moving around. Right, left, left, right. Keep it there. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, and time, guys. All right. Next active rest, we're going to go for that uppercuts. Lean forward, bend your knees, and go. Nice and easy. Roll your hands. Good pace. Two rounds complete. Two more rounds of boxing. 10 seconds, guys. Use this time to breathe in. Nice and easy. Catch your breath. In three, two, one, and time. 30 seconds break. Wipe yourself off. Get some water. Don't use the same water bottle for our weights. You're going to make the weight lesser. Keep it there, guys. Now, next one. We've completed the weave towards the front. We've completed the weave towards the back. Now, let's try a double weave, where we weave front and back before we go for that counter in. So watch me. I'm going to start off, jab, cross, weave to the back, weave to the front, front hook, back uppercut. Sounds complicated. We're just putting both of it together. Again, jab, cross, weave, weave, hook, Uppercut. Get ready, guys. Third round of boxing. Double weave time in three, two, one, and go. Bum, bum. Weave, weave, hook, uppercut. One, two, weave, weave, hook, uppercut. Now, as you throw that double weave, you don't want to complete it. I know it sounds weird, but you don't complete the first weave. What do I mean by this? Jab, cross. I don't go all the way up. Instead, I finish it half finish it half, then a go. Again, keep going. Hook, uppercut. Try to go a bit faster once you got the movement right. Go in, pump, pump, hook, uppercut. Keep it there. You got 30 more seconds to go. I want you to experiment with a bit of feet work. A bit of footwork as you move along, try to throw a combination, Move around right after. Especially if you're a bit more advanced, this is where you imagine an opponent in front of you. You've landed a combination, you move out of the way, you change the angle, you repeat it again. That's the essence of shadow boxing right there. Weave, hook, uppercut. 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> Get ready. In three, two, one, same thing. Nice and easy. Notice, no matter how many times I weave, I don't let my back go down. I'm always using my feet. Mini squat, mini squat, and then I come back up. Hook, hook, bum, bum. You want to imagine that there's a hook coming right at you. You're just going right under it, right under it, and repeat. All right, keep it there. Hook, uppercut. Now, hook, uppercut. Of those of you who are much more advanced, you want to add in one more punch, two more punches, be my guest. Lengthen that counter combination. Hook, upper. Bump, bump. Hook, uppercut. Good form, guys, good form. Bum, bum. Keep it there. Bum, bum. Hook, uppercut, 20 seconds. So I want you to speed it up right now. Go as fast as you can for that, uh, for that weave, and then resume that combination as fast as you can. Bum, bum, weave, weave, hook, uppercut. Work with that weight. Weave, weave, hook, uppercut. 
in three, two, one, and time, guys. All right, last active rest. We're gonna go for that continuous hooks. Still leaning over, bending your knees, and go. Catch your breath. Good form here. When I throw one hook, my other hand protecting my chin, my hand is resting on my rib. Protect, protect. Nice and easy in three, two, one. All right, let's break into our last round for this Train Like a Boxer segment. I'm gonna divide this round into three components. You're gonna work on the weave, you're gonna work on being as fast as you can with the, reef, with the weave and returning back as fast as you can. Now the first minute of this last round, what we're gonna do is you're gonna go for continuous straight punches. And when I say weave, whatever hand that we land on, you're gonna go under the bunch and come back with straight punches. So the straight punches are slow, but I want that weave to be as fast as you can go. All right, get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice and easy, just throw that straight punches. Get ready for my call. Weave, under it. Resume. Weave. You're going as fast as you can. You wait for my call. Weave. Weave. Going under, using that leg. Weave. Keep it there. Three, two, one. Weave. All right. Next minute, you're going to work on returning back as fast as you can. So what we're going to do is get into a nice pace for our weaves. So we're going to be continuously weaving. And when I say punch, whatever punch, whatever side that you rise up from, you throw an uppercut or a hook. An uppercut or a hook. So this aspect, I want you to rise up as fast as you can with that punch. Get ready. And continue that weaves. Nice and easy. And punch. Bum. Rise up fast. Remember what I said earlier on, use that leg. Punch. Keep it there. Legs are getting tired. Continue good form for that weave. Punch. Keep it going. Hands still locked in. Punch. Last two. Punch. One last one. And punch. Bum. All right. Last one minute. Let's put in everything together. Now we're going to be in a boxing shuffle. And when I say weave, I want you to weave and throw a punch. Both are fast. Get ready in three, two, one. Relax. And weave. Pop. Put both of it together. Weave. Pop. Return with any punch. Weave. Pop. Nice and easy. Keep it there. Weave. Fast. I want speed now. Weave. Pop. Last one. All that power, all that speed. And weave. Bump. And time, guys. All right. That's all I have for you for our Training Like a Boxer segment. When we come back, I want you rehydrated, and we're going to go for your endurance. Alright guys, welcome back. We finished two segments, now it's time for the last segment and I saved the best for the last. This is your endurance segment, so for two runs, you're going to really push the pace 
and you're going to find out why it's called endurance. All right, so for the first round, you're going to go for three minutes. There are six exercises. Each exercise constitutes for 30 seconds. I'll explain the exercise as we go along, but essentially, you're not going to stop for three minutes. You're going to do six different exercises, and then we're going to take a break and repeat that endurance round once again. So we're going to start with the first exercise of this endurance. It's a nice deep squat. And when you come up, kick that leg up. One deep squat, kick that leg up. Squat kicks for your first 30 seconds of the round. In three, two, one, let's push together, guys. Bum, 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 bum. Good pace, nice stability. When you throw that kick, crunch on your core. And number two, when you go for your squat, I like to practice getting your knees to touch your elbow. Land that butt down, knees to elbow, come up, kick it up. Bum, kick it up. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right, second exercise, we're going to go down on the floor. We're going to go for shoulder taps, push-up position. From here, without moving your hip too much, nice and easy shoulder taps. Now, the trick to this over here, most people think you need to go for speed. Most people think it's all about the handwork. It's all about remaining consistently secure in that position. Keep your core engaged. Widen the stance of your legs if you're struggling to keep your hip in balance, and just touch your shoulders. Nice and easy. Just like this. A few more seconds, guys. In three, two, one, and time. Now, the third exercise is called a pike push-up to rise up. It's also called a Hindu push-up. How are you going to start off with? It's a pike push-up. Get to your regular push-up position. Bring your legs in. And from here, go down and come up. Nice and easy. Get a bit stable. Adjust if you have to. Go down and up. One more time. Down and up. Now, as you do your pike push-up, you're going to notice that usually the push-up tension lands in your chest and your back. But now you're going to land it in your shoulders a lot more. That's because your rise tail legs up. That what that does is that put a lot of tension on your shoulders. Bring it down. Rise up. Engage that core. Keep it going for three more seconds. Go down and up. In three, two, one. All right, fourth exercise. We're going to go for another planking exercise. Over here, we are in low plank. And all you're going to do is extend your hand out. Nice and easy. Focus on that hip moving. You don't want it to move too much. You want to crunch on your core. And if you, feel, if you find that it's too difficult, just take your legs. Widen it. That's all you have to do. That's how you play around with the difficulty. Nice and easy. So if I put it here, it's too difficult. I bring it out a bit. Nice and easy. In three, two, one, and time. Next exercise, you're going to go for a prisoner squat. You're going to stand. You're going to start off with your knees on the floor like this, and you're going to stand up to a half squat and back down. Half squat. Back down. Nice and easy. I'm just walking in and out. What you want to make sure is that my back always straight. You don't want to bend too much forward. You want to use your glutes and your butt as you go for these prisoner squats. Keep it there. In three, two, one, and time, guys. All right. A little 30 second break. Wipe yourself off. You're going to repeat all of that one more time. Keep it going. Good job so far. Now you want to focus on that form. Go for maximum speed. All right, last round of the endurance before we hit back to a solid core round. We're going to start off with that first exercise, which is your squat kicks. In three, two, one, <coughs> and go. Kick it up. Kick it up. Nice and simple. Good pace, and remember, Elbows to knees. Down, up. One more time. Down, up. Last one, and break. All right, next one. You're going to go back to the shoulder tap. Remember what, remember what I said about engaging your legs by changing that speed. 30 seconds again. Keep it going. Nice and stable. Keep that core engaged as you go. In three, two, 
One, let's go back to that pike push up and raise up. Get in position and go. Pump, pump. Pump, pump. Nice and easy. Pump, pump. Down and up. Keep it going. And remember, whenever you do push ups, don't flare out your elbows. It's going to hurt yourself. 45 degrees. Always remember, 45 degrees, no matter what push-up variation you do. In three, two, one, second last one, you're gonna go for that plank, keep your hips, keep your low plank in, but low, extend that hand out. Nice and easy. Keep it slow, but you're engaging your core throughout. Keep it going. It's only 30 seconds, so you squeeze in a bit more reps and you're done. In three, two, one, all right. Prisoner squats, guys. Knees on the floor, face up, and go. Nice and easy. Nice, good walk. Try to keep your height the same. All right, don't try to move up too much. Half squat and down. Half squat and down. In three, two, one. All right, last one. 30 seconds, we're gonna end it off with a nice and simple low plank. Get ready. In three, two, one, and go. So no movement with your hands or legs. Just nice and easy. Crunch on that core and relax. After this, 10 seconds, we are done with our endurance. We're gonna move nice and easy into our core round. In three, two, one, and time. 30 second break, guys, before we move to our round, that is all core. Good job so far. So for our next round, you're gonna focus on our core. You're gonna involve exercises that do upper ab, middle ab, and finally, lower ab. You're gonna start off nice and easy, our favorite, regular sit-ups. Just make sure your heels are on the floor at all times, and get your core and your back as you rise up. Get ready. In three, two, one, and go. Focus on that breathing. Each exercise is only 40 seconds long. I know it doesn't make a difference when you are doing the exercise. But that means about 10 reps, about 12 reps. So pace yourself. All right, from there, in three, two, one, you're gonna go next to our lower core exercise. You're gonna go for leg raises. Upper body on the floor, hands on the floor. Keep your legs straight, up, but don't come all the way down, just like this, and come back again up. Few reps, guys, few reps. Focus on your breathing, crunch when you're down, and up. Keep it there. We're gonna work for about five more seconds. In three, two, one. All right, we finish our middle core, lower core. Last one is your upper core. You're gonna keep your heels on the floor. Put your bum on the floor. Your lower back stays on the floor, but your upper back is engaged and moving up and down. This is your knee slides in three, two, one, and go. You got this. Five seconds. We are both in this together, guys. Let's go. Three, two, and time, guys. All right. Just like that, we're moving on to our last section of the day. It's our speed flow and aggression. So wipe yourself off, get a bit of water. For this last round, you're gonna empty your tank. You're gonna go all out. So the way speed flow and aggression works, I'm gonna divide it into three portions. When I say flow, you're just regularly boxing. Nice and easy. Nothing too fancy, just put in the combinations that we learned today. When I say speed, as fast as you can. As fast as you can with your hands. And when I say aggression, I want you to go fast and hard at the same time. We got two sets of these. Get ready, you're gonna start off with your flow. This is your last three minutes. Keep that in mind, so explode into it. 
in three, two, one, and flow. Nothing too complicated. I'm just working my simple combinations. In fact, you can learn in and put in the combinations that we learned today. I'm still focusing on my form. I never neglect my form, so do you. In three, two, one, and speed. Speed straight punches as fast as you can. Again, last three minutes. Keep it there. From here, you're going to go into aggression. Now, aggression is not just speed, it's speed and power. Get ready. In three, two, one, and go. Bam. Power and speed. You're knocking out your opponent right here. His guard is down. You can see him giving up, and you are not. Three, two, one. All right, one more time, but this time, a bit more resistance. We're going to do the same set, but with your weights. Get ready, we're going to go back to your flow, nice and relaxed in three, two, one, and flow. Keep it simple, good combinations, still moving, still boxing. Get ready from here. We're going to go to your speed. This time, let's do speed uppercuts. In three, two, one, and go. Good speed, good pace. It's your second last part of the day. After this, you're going to go for aggression. Your last aggression, your last put in work, and we're done for the day. Get ready. In three, two, one, and aggression. Fast and hard. I know you got weights in. I know your shoulders are burning. I'm gonna keep going. Three, two, and time, guys. Great job, everybody. Just like that, we have come to the end of the session, but we're not gonna go unless we do our cool down. First cool down is nice and simple. Legs straight, bend down, and touch your toes. Keep in mind your breathing as you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And from here, we're going to go for a nice cobra stretch for a core. Since we did a lot of core exercises today, lower body on the floor, upper body face up, look up to maximize the stretch. Nice big breaths. Keep it there. In three, two, one, and time, guys. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon for another great boxing workout. I will see you very soon. Stay safe, stay positive. Take care, everybody.